Hey everyone, it's me, your social bay. My name is Jyoti and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we'll learn how to create a simple yet cool looking infographic just like this using Canva. So if you're interested, do watch this video till the end. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any video from me. Now, let's go. Okay, so for this design, I'll be going with a custom dimension 1080 by 1350. Let me quickly name this document first. Okay, so I'll pick a background color for our design and then press R on your keyboard it will bring up a rectangle just like this and then position it to the top right corner and cover half of the artboard. Perfect. Now just change its color to the base color. Okay. Uh, now go to elements and search for shadow and I'll take the first option. Just rotate it vertically uh, to 90 degree and Keep pressing Alt and then just enlarge it a little bit, then position it. So it is already in the center and middle. Okay, uh, then position it backwards. And let's reduce its transparency. Um, you can change the setting as per your preference, but uh, make sure to keep it realistic. Okay, now once you're done positioning the shadow element, just take these two elements and then lock them so that you don't, uh, you know, accidentally move it when you're working on some other elements. Now I'm searching for circle. I'm looking for a white circle. Uh, so let me just reduce its size a little bit. Okay, and then position it. over here in the center okay now go to edit image and i'll be selecting this option over here trippy uh, if you don't have this option over here you can uh, you know search it over here in the search box then once you select this second option just click on apply and just press c on your keyboard it will bring up a circle and i'll just change its color and reduce its size a little bit okay bring it on top of the white circle and select these two elements okay it's already in the middle and center then just control g to group it and press control d twice to duplicate it we want three such pairs so I'll just bring the third pair uh, at the bottom and select all these three elements tidy up perfect now just bring it to the center okay now press alt keep pressing alt and reduce its size so that we have enough space for our text okay now uh, press ctrl shift g to ungroup these elements then select um, the circles that are in front and position them to back perfect now we are going to place some icons uh, in in the uh, white circles so to save your time i already have my icons and text decided so let me just quickly place my icons in the white circles. Okay, so once we are done placing the icons, uh, we'll select the first circle and then go to edit image. And we'll play with the shadows over here. Select the second option and then play with the settings. Uh, just make sure to keep it realistic. Don't make the shadow look too hard.
Okay, so let's apply the same setting for the other two circles as well. Now press L on your keyboard and it will bring up a line like this. Uh, I'll just make it a little shorter so that we have enough space for our text. Then go to the settings over here and select the fourth option for dotted lines. And then I'll just change its color to this one. Uh, go to position and push it backwards. Now uh, press Alt, keep pressing Alt and then drag this line to duplicate it and then position it for the other two circles as well. Okay, so let me bring the second line forward. Perfect. Now select the first and the third line, uh, go to line start option and select this particular option and for the second line select this option uh, for the line end. And this is how our design looks after adding some text. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to work even harder. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.